Simon dropped you off? Great. I'll tell you, that man works harder than any of us. You know, the reason he needs to get out of the forest early every day is to go to his other job, cleaning after hours at a restaurant. Anyway, I'm glad you're both so invested in the success of our project. Speaking of, are you up for another task? You're in another squirrel's habitat now, a female we suspect to be pregnant. And we need to know where she's stashing her winter supplies. Hold on a sec. Yeah, that's everything. I've sent you the mission briefing and calibrated your equipment. And I've marked the squirrel's last known location on your GPS. surprising. They don't usually congregate like this. This is actually far more interesting than the data we've been asking you to gather, but I'm not quite sure what it means just yet. Actually, can you think of a way to find out where those other two are coming from? If we can find out where they start their route, I can add them to our system for future research. trying to stay calm today, breathing in, breathing out, as I walk around in section B9. Hey there, look, I just found out something really weird and needed to tell someone. Simon didn't pick up and he's not really the most chattery bird in the cage anyway, if you catch my drift. So, you know how our study seems to be so well funded? Like, how I have way more money now than I did 15 years ago? I mean, it's not like I'm rich, but I could hire you at least. Well, it turns out that it's not Viago being generous. They've actually received a donation from an unknown source. No, my bosses wouldn't give me any more information, but it's weird, right? I hope... well, I hope it's not weird in a bad way.
Yeah, I was wondering if that would show up. They logged this area back when I was there. And of course, they didn't actually end up using the bloody logs because their permission to even be there was denied. Thanks to me and the squirrels. And did you follow the other one yet? Someone used to live here, but now it's been claimed by the squirrels. Probably too high to get a closer look, but I do wonder what's there. In any case, that's both of them. You've done great work here. I'm really proud. You should get some rest before Simon picks you up. I just faxed to you. What do you make of that junk? Panorama land will respect the forest. Like hell. I don't know what kind of game they think they're playing, but I'm going to shut it all the way down. But look, that bunker to the left. I think there's a few of those close to you. If I add them to your GPS, can you check if any of them are the one in the picture? If you do find it, send me a photo so I can compare. And while you do that... I'm going to make some calls about that travesty of a newspaper article. believe it. It's... No. No. That linden tree was over... <sighs> over a hundred years old. I... No. They're working on the dam already? This is completely wrong. Totally corrupt. I... I... They are not going to get away with this. <sighs> okay. Okay. Deep breaths. I've got work to do. I'd best get to it. The best way you can help is to keep going. Finish our study. I... I'm still reeling, but we have work to do. Okay. Okay. We can do this. We need to figure out the exact path this squirrel takes. So I need you to send me a bundle of photos of the squirrel at certain, very specific timestamps. Can you check your worksheet for the details? I'll get back to... well, you know... Raising hell.
got out here, I was lonely. Yeah, lonely is exactly the right word. I miss chatting with the other researchers at the Institute. Friday beers after work, even grocery shopping. But it's different now. I've been in the forest for... Eleven weeks now. Whew. And now I'm worried about going back out there. Waking with the birds. And brewing coffee on my little camping stove. Wandering under the trees with the scampering squirrels. Stargazing at night. I feel serene. Yes, serene. <laughs> Okay, okay. I'll get back to work. One down. Send the rest when you get them. I'm running through a labyrinth of busy phone lines here. Brilliant! You're really on the trail. <sighs> I'm not having as much success on my end. I did get through to the newspaper editor, but there's something strange going on. He says they did their due diligence before publishing. <laughs>
hot water right now. The newspaper editor clearly called up his friends at Panorama, and now their legal team are breathing down my neck. They have no shame. Oh no, don't worry about me. I'll sort it out. Great work. You're a real trooper, you know that? Yeah, I know I'm a little muffled. I'm actually calling you from the stairwell here. Hiding out from a pair of suited panorama execs banging on my office door. I know, I know. I've got copies of everything and I'm going to get out of here and make sure they're safe. What in the world? <laughs> this makes no sense at all. But we can be sure of one thing at least. The squirrels like you. Wait, hold on, someone's coming in. Yeah? Okay, thank you. Oh no. I don't know where this came from, but it looks like a messed up draft of our report. Signed by me? And those are your photos, but with no squirrels. There's something very, very off here. I, I don't think you're safe out there anymore. We'll have to get you out of there soon. I'll, I'll call Simon. <laughs> 